Oh man, I'm back, I'm back, I'm finally back here, y'all. It's good to see everybody. Oh wait a minute, I can't see you because this is a video, her, her, her. Anyways, what's going on, y'all? It's the White Tiger coming at you. And I got my Minecraft working again. So, without any further ado, let's get started on uh, looking at the base I have so far, shall we? And then I'll show you what, what my plans are and tell you about them. And I'm just really excited. I finally got everything working again. Woohoo! But yeah, anyways. So let's get started and see if I can't hurry up and show y'all guys around before baby boy gets uh, too fussy here. No, uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, well let's try this again right quick before he gets going, huh? But yeah, uh, new thing in my life, I have a little uh, son now. Uh, he's about to be one years old. One years, one year old. And uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. I finally got my computer working, able to run Minecraft without rebooting and screwing up all the time. And yeah, but um, anyway, so these are portals from Utility Worlds, a mod that just basically creates a few worlds and it's just basic it's just really easy to make these portal things or whatever the yeah, other so much I gotta talk about there's so much crap but uh whoops yeah, utility world T no that's inventory pets god dang it Ut T oh for fudge sakes just good grief it's somewhere I don't know you've figure out the recipe. If you can get the mod, you install it, you can click on it and find the damn recipe. Magic chest. Okay. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. And yeah, you can see that I have a huge ass inventory. Uh, that's thanks to this thing here. Uh, something from Ender Utilities? Yeah. A handy bag and it expands everything as you see. And of course you just take it out of your inventory and goes back to normal. So yeah, it's not that's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Where do I put it? Okay, yeah. There's so much crap I have. Uh so much things I started. And look at that dual, dual hot bar. I love that shit. Our stuff, whatever. Anyways, but yeah, anything I put on the top of these lines up here, I use for the second hot bar, so I think that's pretty cool. Um actually additions uh, what's this thing called? Empower and Displace. Uh, to do for uh, actually additions, you know, to make those higher tier thingamabobs. There's the reconstructor I have here. <laughs> uh, started making a farm. I'm going to be making farms and doing uh, magical crop. No, mystical aggraditions. Whatever this stuff. Mystical agriculture. Whatever. Anyways, I'm going to start doing that. That's what this is for here. Uh, now, this thing here, this is really cool. Um, I started Batania, obviously, but uh, you'll see what I mean by it's really cool. Uh, okay, lots of lots of noise. Sorry about that. But, look at that. <laughs> it's just a mystical flower generator, basically. Um, I have core start here. I have, uh, I need to get a, get a rich out so that way you can see what's going on on the underneath. Yeah, okay, so there's a mechanical user down there. How he's configured, I'm not, oh shoot, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh fudge. Um, anyways, I think I'm gonna just try to bust that, okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, so this one's full of mystical white petals. Use item on block, uh, right click and uh, random slot since it's, you know, anywhere on here, but, you know, speed upgrades. But that's the bottom one. I have core start here. Uh, forget why it's core start. I don't know why it's not the fertilized dirt or whatever, but. So there's that. And hopefully I did not screw it up any further than that. Um, okay, so. The redstone signal goes from here, connects to here, goes all the way around through. Uh, I have a mechanical user here with bone meal in it, right. Use item on block, right click, and random slot. So that bone meals the crap out of the mystical flower. And then the top one, the... Well, okay, it won't let me do it there. The top one is 
shears. Just basically unbreakable shears. Use item on block, left click, and upper left slot only, since it's only one item, obviously. But that just bone mills the crap out of it, replants them, and shears them. And as you see, I mean, a stack of white flowers within a few seconds. It's awesome. It is freaking awesome. So, yeah. Uh, quantum storage units full of these looting bags from loot bags because I have to cheat and I have to have all sorts of items and resources and stuff so I'll eventually make some sort of automation thing where it opens these up by itself and uh, my little boy's getting into all sorts of crap energy condenser with uber amounts of EMC so I'll never run out of EMC obviously I got project E in, in here <laughs> uh, that's a basically a dump chest a buffer chest for um, like, I had this storage unit thing here, thing here, yeah, refined storage, but, um, I forget, because I have my miner, like, I have a digi miner set up in the mining dimension, which, um, garden portal, that's for Botania, but, and this, yeah, I'll just show you right quick, it ain't gonna take long, but, I got a freaking digital miner set up, and here, yeah, I turned it off, because it already done, oh, huh? Okay, so it has more stuff to mine, so that's interesting. It's Alright, Draconium more. Good. But uh it went to zero and that's the reason why I stopped it, but whatever. Okay, so what? Um anyways, uh tier six solar panels from uh thermal solars, yeah. And these are nighttime ones, lunar solar panels. I don't know if this stays daytime or if it goes to nighttime. These utility worlds are kind of interesting, but... So, I don't know. Uh, I'll put those there just in case. It ever gets nighttime, uh, the machine will still run. So, it's chunk-loaded and just poops everything out at mines and sends it back here to this chest here. And as you see, pages and pages of crap. But, yeah. Ooh, more diamonds. Where does this stuff get... Oh, yeah, that's right, because... Yeah, look at this. <laughs> It's all clogged up. My um, processing equipment's all clogged up with crap, as you see here. So, yeah, that's right. It all processed and then went into here, and that's how I was able to get all this. So, yeah. Um, resonator. I forget what the resonator's for. Uh oh, baby boys, fussing. I'll be right back. I'll finish up the tour. So yeah, now y'all see another reason why I don't get to do many videos anymore. Uh. This is awesome. Engineer's Workshop Table. I highly recommend getting that if you have the Engineer's Workshop mod and whatever you're using. Uh, Ender Utilities Creation Stations. Basically sort of like that, except it has less crafting tables available. Um, this thing here, you can actually change it to... Uh, instead of crafting... What the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can change it from crafting tables to furnaces. And that's what the power's for. But I just threw it in there just anyways, but yeah, um, workstation under utilities, uh, that's how, you gotta charge, I'm still trying to figure out under utilities, I haven't quite figured it out, so I'm not even gonna try to talk about it and try to bore y'all with it, uh, crusher from actually additions, uh, my first set of armor, I believe, uh, soul binder, this crap, 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 um, oh yeah, ender eyes for this thing here, and experience obelisk. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of mine. Yeah. Uh, ender tank. I forget why I had an ender tank. Oh yeah, because I had to transfer it to something else. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, metallurgic infusers from mechanism. You know, osmium compressor and all that good stuff. Enriching factories. And a crap ton. Absolute proverbial crap ton of. Uh, grid power and why is it 126 it was like 60 out of 64 now it's 126 I only have like 64 of these solar panels where the heck is this other GP coming from whatever anyway so this is my main power supply right here my main power source I'm always going to build a, um, a god my extreme reactor I was going to use it to power my stuff, but I just needed to throw down some solar panels temporarily, and I just never got to replacing them, because, I mean, why not? It's free energy, and they 
these are like the uber number six solar panels so they never run out of energy because yeah they're always constantly producing so yeah uh anyways that's all well good and done and this is my pride and joy these are this is basically just a mob spawner I mean, if you couldn't have told told earlier or whatever, but yeah, this is like my first actual thing that I made. I was just so proud of. And let me just show you how it works. Uh, of course, on all ends, they have these channel receivers from RF Tools, which are these are really cheap and easy to make. And I'm surprised they actually work really damn good. So, and flux point for the power. Uh, these flux point thingies here, and these things are cool. This allows for wireless energy. So instead of having to run wires every damn which way or whatever, you just pull, pop one of these suckers down and just run the wires to what you need, and you're done. I mean, just easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy, yeah. Anyways, uh, alright, so fans and grinders on first. Yep. Okay. The spawners. Yep. <laughs> That other one's not getting power. This top one, I wonder why. Well, yeah, I got uh, weather skeletons and anything in there, as you hear. Alright, and then turn on the lights for other mobs and stuff, because all the uh, cursed earth that's underneath there. Uh oh, I hear a loose one. Oh god. I hate Enderman! Haha. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah. And they're slowly being generated. The mobs are, but. It's taking forever. Oh, yeah, the XP. That's right. The, uh, the tank over here. That's right. The tank automatically dumps out into this experience obelisk. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's the reason why I had that over there. God, it's been so long since I got to play with this world or do anything. Plus, y'all, I actually thought I lost my save. I thought I lost my world. I was so mad. I was literally about to give up on Minecraft forever again. Oh, I forgot to show the IC2 machines. I was just trying to tinker with them and now I blew them up, but um blah. Let me just go back right quick, just to show you that I'll show you the overworld, and then we'll end this little video, but I'm finally back, I'm finally going to be able to play, I'm going to finally be able to record, and all that good stuff. Alright, so, yeah, that's the stuff I was making, I was doing all the IC2 stuff, nothing impressive. Uh, yeah, I blew something up because I put too much power to it, or some kind of crap. And what I'm using for power is basically RF and these energy converters, so it consumes RF and goes into this bridge and then dumps out into this medium voltage energy energy producer for IC2 and goes into this MFE and yeah. Um, yes, I know I'm not supposed to be using these glass fiber cables, but I'm just used to it from 164, so yes, I know I need to change these cables out and make them lower tier cables or make these higher tier machines with the transformer upgrades and all this other crap. Yes, I know, but I just hadn't done it because I'm derpy like that. I keep forgetting about having to do IC2 in a certain way, otherwise they'll blow crap up. But yeah, anyways. Oh, and uh, Dark Matter Pedestal from Project E, this repair talisman, so basically anytime I'm around... This thing here will repair anything of mine, even though I really don't need it, but, yeah. Boop. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'll get to play Minecraft again. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, this is the startup base I had in this little village here. Uh, yeah, not much really to see in there. I mean, you're just basic processing... Or basic ore processing and or tank for water. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's my little village. I was able to get a fence around it. Look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Uh, <laughs> this fence I made in creative mode and went around the entire village and made it in creative mode. And then after the fence, everything else was survival. So, yes, I admit it. I cheated. 
A little bit, just for the fans, but only for the fans. Everything else was legit made. Like, made in survival, so, yeah. Can't kill me. Can't get a uh, harp on me for that. And... What else is there? I think that's about it. Oh, I was gonna make this a mob trap, but seeing all these daggum ores in here, I was gonna do something else, and I got distracted, as you see. I went off somewhere else. I hadn't even gone up this way. Huh. Uh, but yeah. So, there's that. And... I guess that's about it, really, in this world. I haven't really done too much. I mean, except for what you saw in the... Uh... The hidden world thing, or whatever. And yeah, this is just the... Um... The hell? Oh. I was about to say, this is a single-player world. Why would I hear footsteps? But, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, little tiny torches. Oh, I do have tiny torches in this pack. Cool. Oh, actually additions. No wonder. Okay, so... With that, I think that's about everything. Nothing really interesting in the nether, I'm pretty... Pretty certain. God, I won't have to say that. Now I'm gonna go in. Now. But that's about it. I'm just uber excited. I keep saying that, I know, but... It's been so long since I actually got to play Minecraft, y'all. You don't even understand. You really take Minecraft... Uh, you really take... Not advantage, but... You take it for granted. Until you can't play it. And then you can't play it, and it's just like... Arr! You know what I mean? So, yeah, there ain't nothing in here, okay. Haven't really done crap. Um... Uh, that's about it. And this thing is not damn connected. Like, watch, I'll show you. You'll see. It throws me out into the overworld somewhere else. And no matter what I do, it's just always unlinked. And won't go back to my nether portal and just come out here. Don't me out here. I'm gonna move eventually from that village. I'm gonna make a badass base on an island that's like floating in the sky. Like, over here, I was thinking about making a base, like, here, but, I don't know. I digress, as always. Um, where's, okay, there's the nether portal, there's that thingy-mobob. Okay, so I'm over here, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I was supposed to open this, or knock it down, whenever I did make a video. It's not a chance cube? What? What does it do? Nothing. Well, you, sir, suck. Well, dang. Oh, well. Well, that was very anticlimactic as crap. But, yeah. Okay, so, I'm back. And I'm going to be recording eventually. I'm going to like to start streaming, but it just depends on how my family works with me and how I'm able to get stuff done. Ah, okay, there we go. So, yeah, uh... I'm uber excited. I get to start mid-game, like I've always wanted to do. Instead of having to start off at the beginning, I can actually start mid-game and then get going far and get progress done. So yeah, look forward to doing some more videos. I hope to see you guys there. Take care now. Later.